Good morning, good morning world, good morning YouTube, good morning everyone. Why am I showing you a lovely, lovely gray sky? Stay a few more seconds and you'll find out. Well, good morning. Welcome back to my channel for another day of 365 days of frugal living. And me being as weird as possible this year. Because I do want to meet my 2020 goals. I do, I do, I do. I really do. And of course, I found the cage. A really cheap cage. Kind of cheap. But I decided I want the cage. But I'm not getting it. So I came up to Estea, which is really, really far away. Like a 45-minute drive. That's how close my bank is once I have the savings in. Why so far? Because if you have to drive 45 minutes to get to the bank and 45 minutes to get home. Who's going to do that? My mother-in-law wanted to go to the doctor, so yeah. I kind of took her and now I'm going up to the bank. I took all the money out. The ones that I have in my cash register because I did work a little bit the day before and the day before that. And yesterday I earned a whole... How much was that yesterday's earnings? Like all the earnings was around four and a half, I think. And that was through a debit card, so it's already in the bank up here. So I'm just going to take the rest of the money and put it in my savings so I cannot touch it. And then I'll have to start earning all over again for my birthday plus to pay off debt, the monthly debt of December. And I hope I do reach the amount I need. But not having the money close on hand is a great way to to save. No money you can't spend. And because I'll be waiting for my mother-in-law for about three, four hours, I'll just go out for a coffee. I do have my own coffee, but you can help stay outside in the cold. Yeah. See? Sweater, jacket, and I'm good. But I'm not staying in the car. It's too cold. <laughs> So, let's continue our day and see what it holds. Because last night before I went to sleep, I didn't even know I was even bringing my mother-in-law up here. So, it was a last-minute decision. Don't want the poor lady. She's like 100. She's almost 90. To go by bus. And we're off to the bank. <laughs> The day I lost my mother-in-law. I lost her looking for her. It's two o'clock at lunchtime. It's two o'clock at lunchtime. I just brought her home. Found her after walking for about two hours, looking all over the place for her. But it was worth it. She gave me a, like a little, a little bit of money. Like an allowance? And my day is not over. But 
I need to lie down for a half an hour. Mother-in-laws gave me a scare. And it's afternoon and I'm having a coffee. Just woke up. That half an hour nap wasn't needed. Oh God, I think I walked like a billion kilometers searching for my mother-in-law. She had left her phone at the service guy for about two months now. So I was calling and it was ringing and she wasn't answering and she wasn't at the two doctors that she told me she was gonna go. She is almost 90 years old, almost. If you see this video and you're from this village, don't tell her I say she's almost 90. She's going to literally kill me. But I started walking from 1130. It's like I haven't seen her. So I went to the bank, dropped off the doctors, went to the bank, and from one doctor, she's going to go to the next doctor. And I was searching until 1.30, two hours of walking and walking and walking, calling my husband. And I'll go to him if I don't find, him, find her until 3, I'm going to the police. He's like, have you lost my mom? I'm like, yeah. She usually takes a bus and goes by herself, but I go, no. I'm not doing anything except cooking and housework. I'll take her. Since he's working and he wasn't working today. Found a lot of people, a lot of acquaintances up in this area. So I was stopping and asking, "Hello, hi, blah blah blah," like a nice big smile. At least I can smile. Have you seen my mother-in-law? They're like, so that was two hours. Like, ugh, really got me into scare. Brought her back, like I, you guys saw. Was extremely tired from that, all that walking around, and from the scare that I got. Lie down, fell asleep for a few seconds, like just pushed up on the cell phone from recording and fell asleep. And I opened my eyes, I'm like, oh god, my daughter hasn't called me today. And she always, always, always calls when she finishes school. So I was calling and calling and calling and she wasn't answering. Scare number two. At some point, I'm like, oh god, what am I supposed to do? Get up, have a coffee, like grab a coffee and just run for it. So I search for her too. And my son was calling me. He's like, can you please open the door? I forgot my keys. So coming downstairs, opening the door, going, have you seen your sister since you were in the big show? And he's like, yeah. So I'm freaking out. It's like, she's not answering her phone. He's like, eh, she probably forgot it somewhere. Came down to the store, looked all around, nowhere. So my brain was like, oh God, please have some coffee, have a smoke, so I, I lit a cigarette, and I'm like, where's my daughter? Why, is she Why isn't she answering the phone? And I, thank God my brain started working. It's like, texted her, her teacher, she's like, yeah, she's right here. She's doing something, reading, writing, I don't know what she's doing, but... See your kid from 7 o'clock in the morning when she gets on the bus and seeing her again at 7 o'clock at night because she has to go from one school to the other school, shopping, everything. It's like, yeah, you do freak out some days. And the pigeon point, well, I'll tell you guys. I was having the coffee for an hour while waiting for my mother-in-law before I actually started freaking out and running. And with the coffee, they brought me, of course, I stayed up because I'm a smoker. Bad Maggie, bad frugal mama spending money on smoking and coffee. But anyways, I had finished the bank. So goal number one. Okay, goal number two is almost done. Almost. Goal number one is a thousand subscribers. Goal number two is keep that uh, NN and health insurance slash a private one to keep it going for to have enough to make sure it's going to keep on going all winter without me going up to his day and interfering with it so it's almost there and boy that was hard that's why i'm not getting the birds and they brought me a cookie so i saw the pigeons walking and they were looking for food so i started crumbling a cookie and they kept running like you could probably see on my foot <laughs> At some point, a little kid saw me 
And thought it was so funny that he started shooting his pizza. Yeah, his parent got him a pizza. He was cutting it up and shooting it, like, really close to me. And no idea from that. Because the pigeons, there were, like, over 50 pigeons at some point all around my chair. I had put my feet on the chair and tried to hide from the pigeons. Yeah, I do enjoy myself with stupid things like while having coffee, taking the cookie they're going to give me and crumbling up to give it to pigeons. Now, that was a fun thing for me. And thank God I had the cell phone like on hand. It's like, okay, I'll crumble my cookie and film the same time. So I do find pleasure in small things that are stupid, even weird things like feeding the pigeons a cookie while having coffee. And my brother-in-law, like you saw before, decided to give me an allowance. I had like a little treat, a little gift for today. And I ended up going and buying cheese pies, like turokites. It's a simple food from Lidl, of course. I wouldn't buy the, the other stores. They had like a dollar fifty or one fifty, one euro fifty cents. So I went to Lidl, and for two fifty, I got one for me, one for my husband for lunch, one for my father, and one for my mother-in-law. She's like. Wait, I have to pay for the cheese pie, the tiropites. And I'm like, no, you don't. She gave me a lot more. A lot more. She gave me 20. For just taking her up there. And she wants me to do that again on December 5th. Not her son. Not her sons. Sons. All married with one kid. She wants me to have to have three. And then I'm working and doing YouTube videos. Try to fit everything, not enough time, not even to fall asleep if she wants me. But she's almost 90, right? So that's it for me. See, every day I try to do something good, something that's gonna give me peace, something that to help somebody out. Have fun with a pigeon. Feeding a pigeon? Okay, two days ago I didn't film it. I was feeding bread to the fish in the ocean. I hope they had it. I stayed down at the beach for an hour shooting rocks and bread in the ocean. I do weird things. I enjoy simple things in life. What could I do? I find joy in the most silly things. At least I'm not spending money, right? And I'm making a future for myself this time. As you guys can see, Goal number two is almost done. And I think I'm so close to it that in about two months, it's going to be a, our first check mark. Either before January 2020, because it's 2020's goals, or before 2020, or just the beginning of 2020. And the savings account is a sa and my savings, my emergency fund savings, it's all nicely stashed away, and I haven't put a hand on it yet. But I'm actually making it. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Have fun. Enjoy life. It's short. But save money. Because you never know what's going to be a rainy day. Rainy days do happen. And you can quite enjoy them too at the same time. They're not, they don't have necessarily have to be bad. This is Sugar Mama. Signing out for your day. Hope to see you guys again tomorrow for another 365 days of frugal living, my life, my store, and everything in between. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and share. And I do read your comments. <laughs> Bye.